Yo, what's up guys? Welkom bij weer een nieuwe F1 23 Breaking Point video. En je weet het, je hebt het gezien in het vorige hoofdstuk. Een nieuw seizoen zijn we begonnen onder leiding voor Casper Akkerman. En de eerste race hebben we zelfs weten te winnen met Devin Butler. Dat zou toch tot een Hosanna stemming moeten leiden. Lijkt niet helemaal te, het geval te zijn. Devin Butler, niet helemaal in zijn element. Heeft het met de druk die zijn vader hem op zijn schouders legt te maken. Geen idee, we gaan er snel achter komen. Here comes Butler, good pace here down the straight. Into the corner we go, that's a little too late. And he nearly goes off the track on the exit. And is that a lapse in concentration? I think just a little bit of desperate driving there, Crofty. He's pushing way too hard. I mean, there's nobody else around him at this stage. Okay, Devon, we're gonna have to ease off from the brakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brakes don't feel right. Okay, we'll have a look at it, but you're gonna see a drop off in performance, I'm afraid. What? Why? We've asked you to take it easy on the last lap, but pushing has made the issue even worse. So we're just gonna have to live with it for now. What are you talking about? Listen, just do what you can, please, Devon. Come on. Een nieuwe uitdaging dus. Oh wow. De auto functioneert niet zoals het moet. Battery charge is high. Let's use that overtake button a bit more. En we moeten dus proberen zoveel mogelijk man achter ons te houden, maar dat zal niet makkelijk worden. Oké, okay, gaps of the car ahead is 3.3 seconds. Meer. En nu kunnen we de ERS gebruiken. En dan houden we hier gewoon blind de binnenkant. Blijf hier in DRS. Maar wij durven later een harde te remmen. Pak niet helemaal goed uit. En nu zijn we gewoon botsautootje aan het spelen. Veel last van de gas die achter ons ook. Ah, dat begint ook te glijden weer. Ik heb ook wel het idee dat uh, de banden redelijk op zijn. Ik denk dat ik bijna niet op de weg te houden, joh. Oké, okay, dat is ons met vijf laps van fuel remaining. Vijf laps van fuel left. Ik maak niet meer uit welke bocht je vol gas gaat, maar... Na welke bocht je vol gas gaat, hoor. Hij glijdt direct om hier vandaan. Ik 
welke positie rijdt Eddie Jackson? Dan moeten we voor te zien te eindigen, maar ik zie hem niet eens. Joh. Okay, we've lost a position. That's us down a place. Jesus! We need to climb the cliff now. What we did there, though. Not further to tell. What the fuck? Okay, here's the gap that we're trading the car ahead by. 2.8 seconds. Nou, de baas van de kleerscheuren zijn uitgekomen. Dat is uh, helemaal leuk. Uh, hier is veel te diep. Van de halve ronde. Hier geen ERS hoeven te gebruiken, dan sla ik hem dit even over. Oh. Ik moet even naar de map zitten kijken. Ik heb hier even last van, dus hier ga ik hem wel gebruiken. Oh, wederom veel te diep. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 3.9 seconds. Green flag. We're going to Shane McGusley. I hope that we can hold. Oh yo 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 yo! Toch nog een puntje gepakt. Dit is dat nu toch de zwaarste race die ik heb gehad in Breaking Point. 
Look, this isn't the first time we've seen Devin Butler go rogue, but the question is, what are Connor Sport going to do about it? Well, it's really hard. As we've seen so many times before, Crofty, in the past, so hard to control your drivers. In a way, they're their own entity, but on the top of it, they're, they're working for the team, and that's what you want. Very hard situation to manage. And working for the team, Kasper Ackerman wanted to make a clean break for this year. This does feel, though, that it's something that they might have had to have dealt with last season. It's really not what they wanted. A repeat of what happened in the past, and you cannot let it go on. It can't continue. They're just damaging the reputation of the team and their own reputation as well. They have to sort it out. I'm sure they'll be having words. So it's all changed here in Australia, and as the teams are climatized to their new standards... Zijn we nu boven Aiden Jackson geëindigd? Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front vraag. position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Leuk wanneer je er zelf niet bij staat. Hè? Nou, daar komt hij. About what happened today, everyone would inevitably draw comparisons with Hungary last season when you said there was a comms issue. Are those two incidents related? Mistakes sometimes happen. Yeah, look, I'm not, I'm not going to stand here and say it was another technical problem, okay? Sometimes. We all lose our focus a little bit, and whenever that happens... I think that it's the redemption will be from Devin uh, Butler. No, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm to blame. I'm just saying mistakes happen. Devin, you finished the race with the race car today. What was that like for you? Uh, it was tough out there, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, it was tough. Tough out there. I mean, uh, I love this track. You know, I know I can do well here, and it's frustrating to deal with anything that slows me down. You know, I didn't like it, and the team didn't like it. Now, some have been saying that you do get preferential treatment because your father funds the team. What do you say to those allegations? Um, it's practical for a team to prioritize their best driver. I think that, 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 no, my, father, my father's money has no bearings on my natural talents. All of my is a bit cocky, but... Fuck it. Oh, come on. Listen, a team often needs to prioritize their best driver. It's no big deal. Happens all the time. So how do you expect Connor Sport to perform this season based on your performance so far? Um, we can win the whole thing. I expect us to win the whole thing, Natalie. You know, people talk about Mercedes and Red Bull, but people are in for quite a shock this time around because Connor Sport will be top of the constructors by the end of the season. You mark my words, you heard it here first. Boom! Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have your time. Is it your word, man? Producers of Throttle Zone have been in touch. They are now seeking permission to film inside the Connorsport garage for the upcoming Throttle uh, Zone scenes. They need a full run of the garage while they film. The engineering department are also scheduled to have the garage on those same days to run tests. Shall we allow the film crew access? We can't kick our engineers out of their own workplace. That's going to inconvenience everyone. Tell them they can't finish in the garage. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we should honor uh, an, uh, an agreement. Let's we this choose. The early returns on this year's car showed that was the right decision to switch development when we did last year. There's still so much in the season left, but we've put ourselves in a good position to compete with our rivals. It's good to hear. During the post-race interview, Devin said he lost focus on the track today. What should our stance be? We're a team and we support Devon, all drivers lose focus, it happens to the best of us. It's unacceptable. Nah, we support them. We support them. Weet je, mantel de liefde. Star is born. 
Hard Skin Day. Performance level 5, reputation level 6 dus. En dit was hem jongens, dit was chapter 8, hoofdstuk 8, van F1 23 Breaking Point. Uiteraard gaan we verder, voor je dit na een tof video, laat een duimpje omhoog achter. En vergeet niet te abonneren voor nu, een hele fijne dag verder, check jullie later. Bye!